Progress is being made at an environmental cleanup site in Southington, and today workers are taking a major step forward. Tonight, News H's Josh Scheinblum explains how the process works and why there is still so much work that needs to be done. Nestled behind a winding road in picturesque Southington, Connecticut, sits a two-acre parcel of land more than a little out of place. We just got a sample. You've got one string right there, okay, and that's it. It's a super it. fun site. A place really where toxic to waste was dumped for a generation, work. and it's costing millions Material. to get it all cleaned up. Cut it off? No, just give it a little bit of a drink. This is probably the largest project of its type in the U.S. to date. Bruce Thompson is the project manager for the company overseeing the cleanup, a process he says has already taken some 30 years. We've got about an hour. This is, this is a bad one. At least $95 million bad. But today, there are signs of progress. Okay, right there. A special type of concrete is being used to build the cap over the ground. It's a system that's designed to trap heat. It breaks apart like meringue. But that's, that's what gives us the insulating so that the heat, um, you keep the heat in the ground. Think of the super fun site like a giant coffee maker. But instead of heating up beans, it's heating up the entire site. That's hot. We're going to boil the ground and remove the solvent vapor so it won't be here. And that takes a lot of energy. Something in the neighborhood of 16 million kilowatt hours, or maybe to put it in other terms, uh, about how much 1,800 normal houses would use in a year. Even with today's step forward, there is still a lot more work to be done. And we want to close this off back behind us. The heating mechanism to extract the toxins won't be turned on until December. And even then, Thompson says the site won't be clean for at least another 100 years. In Southington, Josh Scheinblum, News 8.